Now, what on earth caused this dog to do this? You are in for an absolute treat today because this is Poppy, the working Cocker Spaniel. And not just any working Cocker Spaniel, she's my Cocker Spaniel. So I've got to sing to her. After a little serenade, it was straight in the bath to get it nice and clean so I could have a lovely finish come the end. It's mine and my wife's anniversary this weekend and we're taking Poppy away to a nice hotel so she wanted to be looking her best for the occasion. It's meant giving her a double dose of shampoo and some lovely new blueberry facial scrub. And what else does she want in the bath other than a good massage? I know I do. Poppy has a tendency of rolling in some of the nastier things about town so it is definitely advisable for me to give her a good old wash before anything because of why she is absolutely honking. As you can tell by her face, she's an absolutely massive fan of having it washed. But you know what, it's not all bad in the end. A quick blast dried to get rid of the moisture out of that coat and then she was ready to go on the table for a thorough stand dry, which was nice and warm for her and a little bit relaxing as well. Traditionally for spaniels, you would be hand stripping them. However, Poppy here, since she's been spayed and she got clipped before, this meant that her body was ready for clipping again because it completely changes the hormones and this completely changes how the coat grows. Now, for those of you wondering, there is nothing wrong with clipping a spaniel's coat. We sometimes do it and it's absolutely fine. You can still get a beautiful trim, but yes, traditionally you would hand strip. But I'm not going to tell you off if you clip them because look, this baby girl looks cute as anything and she's getting clipped. I know I'm biased, but she is so well behaved on the table. And this is because from an early age, we've got her used to the grooming environment. She is very cooperative and she doesn't stress out at all. She also appreciates the lack of restraints, which for some dogs, it's absolutely fine to use none. And with others, they benefit from the aid of a restraint because it will help support them and it helps them to feel safer. We're now moving towards the end of the groom where we're just doing those final tidy ups and it was nearly time to clip the top of the head. Boom, boom, boom. I know a lot of people do not like their spaniels to have their head clipped because they like the wig on top. However, Poppy, we like it off and I keep a nice flat head on top and oh, it's just what we do. We kind of like it. We trimmed in a nice skirt line because, you know, we traditionally leave a little bit of featherings and skirt on a spaniel because this would help protect them when out in the undergrowth. And then, yes, here it comes, the dreaded moment. It's gone. And what was funny is when we got married last year, Poppy was our little flower girl who came down the aisle. And before the wedding, I accidentally cut her ears far too short. But now... I kind of like it. It reminds me of my wedding day. So one of the best days of my life. And she's just as cute as anything. So I thought I'd surprise my wife by cutting her ears short and see if she got the same sort of feelings as I do. Here she is, finished, looking amazing. What do you think of her little bob cut? Oh, and also the secret to her howling. I can get her to do it on command. Just take a look at this. <laughs> <laughs> 